The RV Show USA is brought to you by Flagstaff, building better RVs, making smarter RVers. There's a party every week on his radio show where RVers always call in. They say, hey there, weak man, tell me all that you can. We love to hear you on the radio again. A big old shout out to our listeners in Daytona Beach, Florida, catching us on uh, WNDB. Thank you all very much for being a part of our RV loving community. I'm excited to bring up our next guest. He's a a lead design engineer. Yes, he is. He decides on the improvements and new designs in RVs. And I know a lot of folks want to know how those different innovations come about in the RV world. So, Mr. Kenny Miller, welcome to the show. Well, Alan, thank you for having me. I'm excited to be on the show today. So so you are the dude, man. They're uh, the main dude over there at Flagstaff Rockwood in terms of new designs. Talk to me about that. What, what, what do you do? Walk me through that whole process. Well, my job and title is uh, overseeing a team of uh, design engineers that take the ideas and the, the feedback that we get from dealers and customers, and we try to put them on a uh, floor plan and design and, and make sure that we're complying with everything that we need to do to get this unit built. And so we create prints and designs and, and make sure that we don't encounter any issues when we go to build the unit. How do the changes come about? I guess, like you say, you took take input from dealers and consumers. Um, but it's it's got to be, I would think doing what you do, Kenny, has got to be difficult because it's like a Monday morning quarterback. Everybody's got an opinion. You ought to do this over there. I move that over here. And it's like, be quiet. Leave me alone. Let me do my job. Absolutely. Um, I don't think that um, we want to ever overlook any suggestion or any issue that someone has encountered. Um, but, yes, we do get a lot of feedback through social media and our owners' emails, and we take them seriously. Um, if there's problems that need to be addressed that we feel like need to be done through the model year, um, then we'll try to recreate them, make sure that we're doing it in a responsible manner, and get the changes made. Are, are you... You happen to be an RVer yourself? I I have uh, went out with RV a number of times, uh, taking protos out, but I don't own one um, and take it out on a regular basis, no. But you, you can take one, I guess, whenever you want to, since you're the head guy over there, the, the design engineer. So um, uh, tell me about when you look at an RV. When Kenny Miller goes and you, you walk into an RV, not one that you designed, just any RV, because I, I know you've got to look at it differently than the average person does just because of what your profession is. What's going through your mind? What kind of things does Kenny Miller look at? Yeah, so um, I look at a number of different things, but it's not what most people would expect when I walk into a unit. Of course, I love to see beautiful colors and, and cool designs and furniture, um, but for me, it's uh, it's more about the function of the coach and does everything work the way it should for the customer? Do the things that we have in place structurally to support uh, the unit, are the clearances good for everything underneath the coach? And is everything inside where most people don't see done in the proper manner so that the coach is heating properly, cooling properly, and will hold together going up and down the road? So not what you normally would think of as you step into a coach first, um, you know, your first thing you see would be color and, and design. But I definitely have a, a unique way of looking at it, making sure that we are um, addressing concerns that we may have when a first design is done. How difficult is it to make um, to make a change on an RV? I guess it all depends on what the change is, but I would think uh, – uh, even a small change is not done just instantaneously. It takes a lot of time to implement it, to uh, to make a prototype and then try it out, make sure that you're doing the right thing, that it's in the right place or whatever you're going to be doing before you roll out and you make a hundred of them. Yeah. Um, so my team and I have been working hard over the last couple of years to do a lot of 3D modeling so that we can prove the concept of designs uh, without having to uh, take a lot of time um, in the field. Um, changes throughout the year are difficult. There's supply issues. There's commitment to supplies. There's tracking and logging changes that may come into effect later on when a problem um, comes up or someone needs a replacement part. So each one, but I believe that if a change is needed, if it's a safety or an inconvenience 
or problem for the customer, I believe it needs to be addressed in a timely manner, Mm -hmm. especially in the fast-paced industry that we work in. I know that you have been in the RV business for a long time. What what have you got a, any kind of a crowning moment? I mean something a crowning jewel that you're really proud of that that uh, maybe uh, the average RV are out there has said I've seen those. Yeah. Um yeah, I've a I've a, had a unique experience um early on in my my time in this position to help design and create the new product line, the Geo Pro and the EO, E-Pro product and it's been very exciting seeing uh, them grow and becoming one of the top selling brands in the industry today. And I'm very excited to see how far they've come and the, and the evolution of the brand and the cool things that we've rolled out in that product line. So I'm very excited for that. I mean, that is talk about engineering and design. My gosh, that, I mean, that that's just like a industry changing. I think some of the things in those units. Absolutely. We're pretty proud of that product. Yeah, I don't blame you. Well, talk with me about the research that goes into, uh, you know, prototype testing. I know you said you got 3D models, but but do you ever have a bust where you go, we think this is going to work, and you go ahead and you build it, and you say, "Uh uh-uh, not good enough, and we're going to scrap the idea? Absolutely. Um, We Some of it is just um, design and, and the flow of the unit, but sometimes it comes with the appliances. There's a lot of uh, parts about a coach that the customer doesn't see that are very vital to the design of a unit. And so the appliances, the tanks, the frame, the structure, rams, taking slide outs in and out are all part of a design. So those all have to be set up first, and the structure of the frame is very important. And we've spent a lot of time over the last years compiling information, making sure that the structure of our frame is supporting our unit in the way it should for the future and for the years that a customer is using it. So getting uh, a solid foundation under our unit and making sure that every aspect of the coach works as they as it should is just as important to us as having a cool floor plan or some neat ideas to roll out that look good and appealing to a customer first walking into the unit. You know, these... So we make sure that we do off-site testing if need be, to make sure our structures meet the standards that are needed. With so many people that are trying to, that, that, that want to get a, a travel trailer they can pull with their, their daily driver, it's got to be a real challenge for you, the design engineer, to make a, a quality RV that's going to hold together, stay together, last for many, many years, yet still be able to be towed by a relatively small vehicle. Absolutely. We, we cram a lot of detail uh, into those smaller units, for sure. Um, it takes all of our, we have a great team here at Rockwood Flagstaff, um, great team of managers and, and group leaders and production staff that um, help testing and putting together a unit that we can try out and make sure that it uh, performs in every aspect the way it should, but still gives a customer that's only able to pull, pull a small unit everything that he's looking for. And we're very proud of, of some of those that we have today. In terms of uh, future innovations in RVs, uh, where are we, do you think? Are we about as far as we can go? I mean, I don't know what in the heck you can do to make them any better, but maybe, uh, I mean, certainly you will, but what are your thoughts on that? Absolutely. I, I think there, there will be some things that um, probably come in the future, um, solar and being able to, to – uh, Camp off grid is becoming very popular and is one of the staples of our Geo Pro E Pro brand um, and things of that nature. Uh, but just in general, I think the most important thing about RVs moving forward is that we continue to do the research to make sure that we have the proper materials and that we're doing the right testing that a coach will hold together and that we can keep giving the customer the experience that they want, which is a problem free coach that they can camp with all year long all right listen we're gonna have to take a quick break uh, can you join us again next week can we get you for another segment absolutely Alan. awesome awesome all right you take care and we'll talk again soon um, folks i don't know about you but i believe the design engineers uh, they are some of the real unsung heroes of a very very successful brand of rv yet they rarely get the accolades i think that they deserve. As always, we welcome your thoughts and comments and questions on things that, well, you'd like to hear in our Ask the Manufacturer segments. 
If you would, post them on social media or you can leave me a voicemail. Call 24-7 on our voicemail line, 1-330-WINGMAN, 1-330-WINGMAN. Your wingman will be right back. 